Matt, we have often discounted the Pac-12's chances of making the college football playoff, and there were two results over the weekend, in my eyes, that really worked against the Pac-12. One was Syracuse had a double-digit lead against Clemson. The Tigers could have gone down. If you watched that game, I certainly thought that uh, Syracuse was right there, and there were some unnecessary roughness, fouls, and late hits called against Syracuse. USC fans can relate. USC fans can definitely relate to that. They could have extended a drive for Syracuse and helped them out late in the game, and that was one result. And then, of course, TCU coming back from 18 down against Kansas State really could have muddied the waters in the Big 12. Well, and, you know, this scenario is not likely, okay, but it's in play. I mean, there is a possibility of it. It's a very tiny possibility, but just imagine, Mark, and everyone watching here on The Voice of College Football, just imagine if Garrett Riley, TCU offensive coordinator, locks Lincoln Riley out of the playoff. <laughs> that would be absolutely nuts. And it's in play. Again, not likely. But if USC goes 12-1, and TCU goes 13-0, <laughs> that is in play. If, you know, Clemson loses a game or, you know, Georgia loses a game, Alabama loses a second game. It's in play. Not likely, but it's in play. <laughs> Just mind blown. That's one of those uh, brain busters right there.